team, welcome to Triotech Software Trainings YouTube channel. My name is Kumar and I am the director for Triotech Software Trainings team. So today I came up with a concept of Oracle Fusion Environment Releases. So many of you having a doubt with respect to the Environment Releases in Oracle Fusion Cloud Applications team. Like when Oracle introduced these applications in the market what is the release version that they came up with then since then how that environment upgradation happening we are in 2025 now team so as of today what is the latest version of the fusion cloud applications team what is the pattern that oracle following every year and how many times every year oracle will upgrade their applications team to give you ample information about that environment cycle I mean to say upgradation cycle that Oracle follow I am doing this video team so please watch the video till the end to understand fusion environment policy team see quickly let me get into the system so if you could see here my slide team what we are going to talk we are talking about fusion environment release and upgradation policy how it will happen in oracle hcm so as i told you team we all know that oracle introduced fusion cloud applications into the open world in the year 2011 when oracle introduced fusion applications team they came up with a version r1 r1 see team every software application will have the versioning concept team so when oracle introduced the applications team they came up with a version of r1 so since then oracle application got evolved team now we are in 2025 right so the latest upgrade version of the fusion applications is r13 team what is that the latest version of the fusion applications is what R13. See, now completely fusion applications are offered on a cloud-based deployment model. From release 1 to release 10, whoever bought the product from Oracle, the clients, Oracle offered their application both in on-premise and cloud deployment options team. But I am not getting into that detailness of what is on-premise, what is cloud. In the next video, we can see about that team. So here, the Oracle Fusion Cloud applications are now completely offered on a cloud-based technology. R1 is the first version that Oracle introduced their applications team. Since then, it got evolved and now the latest version is R13 team. See, by 2017, end of 2017 and early 2018 only we actually reached it to R13 team if I have to tell team by end of 2017 early 2018 only we reach it to the version of R13 what Oracle did team Oracle to make fusion application differentiate with their existing on-premise EBS applications team Oracle made R13 as a static version for their application team. What Oracle did? Oracle made R13 as a static version in cloud applications. So Oracle Fusion Cloud now is in R13. Then further what we have to know team, how the upgradation policy will happen in the system. See, Oracle follows quarterly upgradation policy team what is that quarterly upgradation policy means what team every year how many quarters we have in the system team i mean in the year team every year how many quarters we have team usually 12 months in the year how many months we have 12 months jan to december team okay 12 months January to December so quarter means as per our financial uh, cycles if you see every three months is the quarter right 
so oracle divided the year into four quarters team into what what team into let me keep this here so into four quarters like january to december one quarter sorry january to march one quarter then april to april to june one quarter okay april to june one quarter and then july to september one quarter then october to december one quarter so yearly four quarters we have team so jan to march is first quarter april may june second quarter july september july august september third quarter october november and december as fourth quarter so year yearly four quarters how we have team oracle also will provide their upgradation four times in the year how many times team four times in the year oracle will upgrade their applications team so four times four quarters every 3 3 months oracle will upgrade their application team you might ask me kumar why oracle frequently upgrading the application every 3 3 months see to be in the competitive in the market team to be ahead in the competition compared to sales i mean sap workday or the other erp products in the market to be more competitive team oracle invest a lot in their research and development so every time oracle coming up with some new enhancements in the application team they want to make their application better better and more better to give the more realistic engaged and sophisticated experience to their customers team so every 3 3 months oracle will release their upgrade team what happens kumar during this time see every 3 months when oracle upgrading their application team they will come up with new enhancements in the system in every module in hcm what we have okay some new enhancements some new new features oracle will bring in see our mobiles if you take as an example android mobile or apple you take team every time when there is a software upgrade in the system what happens team what we observe since our childhood we are observing our mobiles team every time some new features will be coming in the system and any bugs any issues are there in the software they will get fixed in that upgrade team similarly in the fusion cloud applications also every 3 months when oracle upgrade their application team oracle will come up with new functionalities new enhancements what mostly clients looking for they will introduce new features in every module team and also existing bugs what were reported in the previous releases team that is a store stopper for the clients to use the application in the day to day life that all bug fixes also oracle will come up in this upgrade team so yearly four times oracle will upgrade their application team what is the versioning pattern oracle will follow you know team let me go to the system as of today what is the latest version we will see and i will explain you team so usually once you log in into the system team where we have to come to know the latest version of this application team come to the settings and action here right then at the bottom if you go to about this application team here you will have team the version of the application see oracle fusion cloud applications 25a and there is some sequencing 11.13.25.01 you might ask me kumar you told us just 10 minutes before the latest version of the fusion application is r13 then what is this 25a 11.13. Point something coming up yes the version is r13 only see here oracle application development framework rel13 right middleware extension rel13 then database compatibility rel13 see team the version is 
release 13 R13 25A is the current version of the application steam. What is that? R13 25A. This is the current version as of today that we have in the fusion application steam. Let us try to debug team. What is this? See 25A Oracle categorized four quarters into alphabet A, B, C, D. Okay, Oracle divided each quarter as A, B, C, D naming convention steam. Okay, now we are in 2025. So 25 stands for the financial year we are in 2025. So 25, we are in which month now? We are in the month of March. January, February, March. Means that is first quarter. So Oracle designates the name of the version as 25A. Means 2025 first quarterly upgrade. 25A. So next when we enter to the next month team, April, May, June, the version will come, new upgrade will come. Then the naming convention Oracle will follow 25B. Then team, July month when we reach 25C. Then fourth quarter, 25D. Every year team, Oracle will give the naming convention for their releases like this team. 25A, 25B, 25C and 25D. Last year team it was 24A, 24D, 24C. Okay. Then 24B. So we travelled from this and then we came to the current year now team. Right. So the last quarterly upgrades were these things team. Now we are in 2025. We are observing this. Next year it will follow 26A. So every quarter the release naming convention Oracle will follow like this team. So the current version is 25A. Okay. Then what are these things team? 11 point, 13 point, 25. Here 11 stands for 2011. The year which Oracle introduced their application team. So 13 stands for the release version. R13. Then 25 stands for the financial year team. 2025. Then 01 stands for we are in which quarterly upgrade team now? We are in 25A. In first quarter team, what is the first month? January. Right team? January means what team? First month. 01. So that is the format for every quarter Oracle will follow. Right? Next quarter team, I am telling you up front. 25B, when we are going to see in the month of April, May and June, the version will be like this thing. R13, 25B, 11.13.25. In the second quarter, first month is what team? April. April means what? 04, fourth month. 04.0. This zero is common team last. So this is how Oracle will follow the versioning concept. So be clear team. Whenever you get any interview question with respective to upgradation policy, very important. And in the interview, people will ask you in which releases you have worked on in Fusion applications. At that time also team, you should aware of. So somewhere you started your career in 2017, 2018 in this domain. It's been already close to 7, 8 years or 9 years team. You can tell that I started working from R13. Okay, and then every year four times Oracle will upgrade the application. Then every time when the upgrade comes in team, new enhancements, new features or the bugs in the system will be fixed. That is what you have to tell team. Then further you might also get a question with respect to what you will do in the upgrade activities. So you can tell that team. Actually I am not going to cover that in this video. So please follow our upcoming videos to get the information about this. Every quarterly upgrade 
if you are in the project team what you will do what are what will be your activities during that time so this could be also a question in the interview team this we will answer in the next coming videos team so i hope everyone understood what is the upgradation policy in oracle fusion hcm cloud applications team so if you like the video please do subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share the video with your friends who require this information team thank you everyone for watching this video once again team